you guys so today we are going to get a look at the luke skywalker x-wing fighter guys red five the x-wing fighter for luke skywalker guys and then we are also going to get a look at poe dameron's resistance x-wing as well guys and then we're also going to compare it to its predecessors the luke dagaba x-wing and also the Wedge and Tilly's X-Wing as well, guys. So we're going to get a look at it, compare it to its predecessors, guys. So let's get a look at the boxes on both of these X-Wings, guys. All right, you guys. So getting you a look at the box, starting with the Luke Skywalker X-Wing, guys. We have our Star Wars logo, Luke Skywalker X-Wing. We have it in a couple of different languages. Uh, we also have a couple of the figures pictured with the X-Wing, Luke Skywalker's helmet on top of the X-Wing. Uh, we also have it uh, pictured in the uh, bottom left-hand corner there. Kenner logo, Hasbro, very cool. We have the uh, Star Wars trimming around the rim of the uh, box, guys. So really cool stuff, very nice design on the box. So getting you a look at the side of the box, guys, it looks like we have shooting projectiles out of this particular version of this X-Wing, guys. That is absolutely awesome. And then we have the X-Wings that uh, open up there, the uh, X-Foils. Uh, open up so that is really really cool and then on the other side of the box guys we have the opening canopy and we also have the landing gear guys so really cool stuff star wars logo kenner very very cool very awesome all right you guys and now we're going to get a look at poe's x-wing his resistance x-wing fighter guys so let's get a look at the box guys starting with the star wars logo rise of skywalker Poe Dameron's X-Wing fighter. We have the X-Wing depicted here. Ray, Chewie, Poe, C-3PO, BB-8. Very, very cool. Kenner logo also depicted in the left-hand corner, just the same as this Skywalker X-Wing, guys. On the other side of the box, we get a good look at the opening engine compartment on Poe's x-wing very very cool stuff another here, cool feature seems to be a ladder a hidden ladder underneath the vehicle as well uh with an opening hatch so that's very cool can't wait to get a look at that guys really really awesome stuff here and then on the other side of the box you have the opening landing gear as well as the x-wing foils opening very cool there guys. they are those are the boxes guys what do you say we get these things open all right you guys so we got them out of the box and i can tell you guys i am very very much impressed with both of these vehicles guys there are some differences with these vehicles specifically when you're talking about the luke skywalker x-wing uh you have the shooting projectile which is actually done very tastefully in this particular vehicle uh, you get a little more detail in the cockpit, so guys. So let's get a closer look at the vehicle, guys. So getting you guys a look at the new vintage version of the X-Wing here, guys. Nicely detailed, as you guys can see. Really awesome. Nice weathering. You get a little bit more paint apps on the top of the gun as opposed to the predecessor. One other thing is the, uh, the print, uh, specifically the markings, the uh, battle damage and whatnot. Uh, it seems to be kind of um, I don't want to say like it was a sticker, like it's a sticker, but um, it's definitely, the paint apps are definitely different from the uh, predecessor. Uh, I'd have to say the predecessor has, uh, the paint apps are just a little bit better when you're talking about the uh, wings there. 
and to get you guys a closer look at what I'm talking about, it just seems like it's a sticker of some sort. If you can see some bubbling, seems like there's some bubbling there with the sticker right there. I, I don't know, I could be imagining things because I really don't feel a bubble, but it looks like it's like a sticker and it wasn't quite placed on correctly as opposed to the old school version where I think you're just getting straight out paint apps here. So definitely when you look at the, when you're getting a look at the uh, paint apps and weathering between the two vehicles, um, mainly when it comes to the wings, I prefer the wings on the original version there. It just looks a little better to me. However, when you get a look at the engine compartment, I really like how that looks. That is detailing that we got with the skiffs. It's a similar type of weathering and detail that we uh, got with the skiffs. So that is really cool. The old school version, and it's just a solid plastic piece, not much weathering there. So uh, that's kind of cool that they added that there. So really, really nice stuff there. You can see the battle damage is a bit different. Looks more like paint splotches as opposed to a specific uh, blaster damage as opposed to here you get like the streaking blaster damage as if it was shot in flight and streaked across. So some different paint apps there. So getting you guys a look at the detail in the cockpit of the new vintage version, um, you get instead of a sticker, uh, you get just a, a little bit more detail, just uh, some nice detail on your instrument panel. You also have a stick there that he can hold on to. There is a targeting computer there, guys, that comes out, or for Luke there. So there's the targeting computer. Getting you guys a look at the targeting computer. So really nice detail on the inside of the vehicle, guys. Just some really cool stuff there. The seating. Once again, you have the stick, targeting computer. So they really went the extra mile to give you some detail. And then we come back over to our original legacy version and you just get a, a basic sticker for your instrument panel, no stick, uh, no targeting computer. So you gotta commend Hasbro for the extra additions to the Luke Skywalker X-Wing guys, really, really cool. All right guys, and getting you a side-by-side -side comparison of your new vintage version of the Luke Skywalker X-Wing. And then of course you have your legacy version of the X-Wing. I purchased my legacy version of the X-Wing. Uh, Luke's actually uh, did not come in the box. I uh, got bought it used, uh, but it was actually in very, very good shape. So obviously the vintage is brand new out of the box guys. So let's get a closer look at our side-by-side -side comparison. So there, is your side by side comparison of the Luke Skywalker X Wing? Again, this is your legacy version. I forget what year it came out. And by the way, this is the Dagobah version of the uh, Luke Skywalker X Wing. 
And again, we have our vintage version here. Really, really cool. So in regards to the assembly guys, uh, one of the big differences uh, is the uh, nose here uh, actually pulls off uh, from the uh, vintage version. I'm gonna see if I can pull it off from here, guys. Bear with me for just a moment. So as you can see, the uh, nose comes off uh, of the uh, vehicle, unlike your uh, legacy version. Uh, so that is one of the differences in the assembly. And then it snaps on just as easily. So getting you a look at the landing gear on the vehicles um, for your vintage version here, uh, basically the back Landing gear is same mechanism. You pull it down, very cool. Um, for the front, uh, for the front landing gear on your old Legacy version, um, you have the uh, standard front leg, but you uh, on the vintage version, uh, you have this door that you swing open. and allows you to let the leg down for the front gear. So the front gear landing gear has a door. Uh, that's one of the differences. And then you also, for your uh, shooting mechanism, close that back, uh, you have this turning turret, which is really cool. And there is a projectile insert it there. Uh, there is a look at your uh, gun turret and uh, your weapons on the uh, new vintage version. Uh, a little bit something different than uh, what we were given here on the uh, old legacy version. You also have a compartment underneath to store tools or whatever. So that's really cool. Very awesome. So very cool, very subtle differences uh, between the two vehicles. Uh, and I really like the improvements that they are giving us here on the vintage version of this vehicle. Very, very awesome stuff. Guys. All right, you guys. So to get you a look at the pilot on the inside of the vehicle, we're gonna use our Luke Skywalker vintage figure uh, that we just got in the last wave of the vintage figures, guys. So we're gonna pop this guy out of the plastic, put him in the uh, cockpit, see how he fits in his new vehicle. So you have your vintage pilot Luke on the inside. He can firmly grasp the controls. Very cool. You can pull out the targeting computer. So there you have him using the targeting computer. It's really cool. Getting you a look at Luke Skywalker front view in the pilot seat. Really cool. I think he looks absolutely awesome in there. And then of course, in the legacy version, this is how your pilot would be seated. You basically need to keep the hands tucked inside of the cockpit because there's not a lot of room. So now we are going to get you a look at the some of the accessories that you can use with your vintage Luke Skywalker X-Wing. If you have the ladder, uh, the two ladders that come with your Wedge Antilles X-Wing, uh, the legacy version, um, they go very nicely with your Luke Skywalker X-Wing, guys. Let's get a closer look. So getting you guys a closer look, as you can see, the accessories go very well with it, obviously, because it is of the same scale. So that is really cool. So getting you a look at where R2-D2 would sit, in your vintage X-Wing, 
see if we get them in there guys and you're gonna have to bear with me because I'm trying to hold the camera and do this at the same time and there we go so there's your R2D2 slides in very very nicely as we get a look at our R2 in the vintage X-Wing I think he looks really really cool you compare him to the, the Dagobah Legacy X-Wing R2-D2. I think he's a very, very cool and very, very nice fit guy. And then on your Luke X-Wing, you have your traditional switch that opens the wings. So you have your wings open there. Very, very cool. Really, really awesome and then to close it back you just simply set it back so really really cool stuff there guys all right you guys so now we're going to get a look at poe dameron's x-wing his resistance x-wing guys very cool looking vehicle very exciting uh to get this vehicle in this scale guys now um i love the configuration with the uh, wings as compared to the uh, old style version i have a greater appreciation for uh, this version of the x-wing guys so let's get a closer look at this particular vehicle so as i said guys i really like the uh, configuration of the uh, wings you have a smaller underwing there and then the larger wing next to it. Instead of having four small engines, you get two very, very large engines, uh, but actually those engines split into two. So it is actually four engines, uh, but when the uh, X-foils are uh, closed, uh, it just looks like two huge, massive engines. So that is really, really awesome, guys. Very, very cool. And then we're gonna get you a look on the inside of the cockpit, guys. So giving you guys a better look on the inside of the cockpit, guys, you can see the uh, interior there. Uh, you also see his stick. Get a look at the instrument panel there. So there is a lot of detail on the inside, guys. That is really, really cool stuff. Very, very awesome, guys. Very, very nice detail on the inside just really really nice and going around the side you have some really nice weathering there that is really really cool very very nice looking vehicle guys So getting you guys a look at the landing gear and all of the other accessories underneath the vehicle, guys. Starting with the landing gear, uh, you have the landing gear hidden in three different compartments here, here, and there. Very cool, very nice job by Hasbro. So getting a look at the top landing gear, guys, you simply open the doors here. And when you open the door, it exposes the front landing gear. You pull it out and it actually locks into position. You have a little foot lever that would come down upon landing. So really cool, very, very nice job there. And then for the back, you have your back landing gear there, comes out. And then it actually turns. And once you turn it, the foot levers come down. And then for the other side, it's the same deal. You open that compartment, pull it out, it turns and the feet lever come down. So there you have it. That is how the landing gear functions. Uh, you have uh, one other compartment here hidden underneath. It's a very cool 
a compartment that exposes a ladder that is underneath here, guys. Uh, you would pull the ladder out and uh, use it uh, to climb in the vehicle. So this is where you would retrieve uh, the ladder. So that is absolutely awesome. They provide you with a compartment that has a ladder uh, that you can carry with the vehicle, which makes sense because uh, if you're landing on Jakku, uh, for instance, uh, you may need that ladder uh, to get back into the vehicle. So uh, great job and very nice idea and a very nice exchange of ideas here with the landing gear versus uh, the old school X-Wing version. So that is really, really awesome, guys. So getting you guys a better look at the uh, ladder compartment is really, really nice job. Look at the uh, trimming, the uh, weathering on the door underneath. Just a really, really nice job by uh, Hasbro here. The inside housing for the landing gear. It's all decked out. So very nice attention to detail on this vehicle, guys. Really, really cool. So with the ladder, you would simply pull it out from here, pulls out very easily, and then you connect it. There's two holes right underneath the cockpit here, and you simply insert it there, and it fits in very, very nicely. So I wanted to get you guys a look at the vehicle with the ladder underneath. And uh, one thing I obviously noticed is that the ladder is actually too long uh, to sit underneath the vehicle while it's in the landing position. As you can see, the front landing gear is not even touching the ground. I'm gonna actually have to trim this ladder quite a bit um, just to uh, get it to fit underneath the vehicle. So that's actually something I'm gonna do right now, guys. So give me one moment. All right, guys, so I trimmed my ladder just a little bit to uh, get it so it's even enough where uh, the landing gear will sit flat on the ground with the ladder underneath. So uh, you may find that you're going to need to trim your ladder, guys, if it is uh, not cut correctly from the manufacturer. One small little QC issue there, or possible QC issue with this vehicle, but uh, not definitely not a deal breaker. So one of the other features that uh, we definitely wanna get a look at is going to be the engine compartment here, guys, and uh, please forgive my shaky cam, but you can pull it open here there is a look at the engine compartment with the removable panel. You get very, very nice detail there on the inside, guys. So get, again, another very cool feature with your Poe Dameron X-Wing resistance X-Wing, guys. Very, very awesome. All right, you guys, so now we're going to uh, get a look at our Poe Dameron Rise of Skywalker figure. Uh, we're gonna put him inside of this X-Wing, guys, to see how he fits in there, how he looks. Uh, so we will get a look at that. Uh, we're also going to insert our BB-8 unit in the vehicle as well and see how well he fits in the vehicle. All right, guys, so I wanted to get you a look at the ladder and how it would function with the uh, figure. Uh, if, it, if you were going to be able to pose the figure on the ladder, uh, you most definitely can do that here. Uh, it will support the figure. You may be a bit limited in what type of poses you can do uh, on the ladder because on my particular pose figure, uh, the legs don't really close together well enough uh, to fit in the uh, ladder. I had to kind of work with it a little bit just to get them uh, to do that, but it's more on the figure than it is on the uh, ladder itself. Uh, it's just that the legs uh, aren't made to uh, close together quite uh, so tightly. Uh, but if you are able to get those legs uh, together on the ladder, um, you can pose him, and uh, I'm sure uh, others will be able to figure out some much better poses uh, than what I've done here. Uh, but uh, the ladder does function and you can definitely uh, pose your figure on the ladder as if he's climbing into the vehicle as I've done here, guys. So that is a really cool addition to this particular vehicle.
All right, guys, so we're gonna get a look at Poe Dameron on the inside. See what he looks like on the inside of the vehicle. This is your vintage Poe Dameron. We just released for Triple Force Friday. So there is a look at the figure inside of the vehicle. I think he looks pretty cool. I had a little bit of trouble trying to get him to hold the uh, stick there, but I was able to get him to uh, hold that, so that's really cool. I also found out that this piece also opens up as well, so that's really awesome when you're uh, inserting the uh, figure on the inside you can lift that up to uh, make it a little bit easier so really really cool very very awesome fit with your vintage figure inside of the vintage poe dameron resistance x-wing guy all right you guys so we're going to get you a look at bb-8 and the droid compartment in the Poe Dameron Resistance X-Wing guys. So let's get a quick look. So getting you guys a look at the droid compartment guys, and please excuse my uh, shaky cam here, but this piece pulls out and you can actually fit an Astromech or a BB-8 unit in there. And I'm gonna demonstrate how you would do the BB-8 unit. So you kind of sit them in there in the middle, in the center, and he fits in there nice and snug. Then you take the uh, canopy or this piece right here, whatever you want to call that piece, and it snaps right into place. And there you have your BB-8 unit inserted in the vehicle really really cool stuff there guys very awesome all right you guys so for your x-wing feature you have two buttons in the back uh here uh one to open the x-wings and one to close so we're going to open the x-wings here so there we have the wings open simply press the button and the wings open really really cool stuff and then when you close the back button the wings come back together so really really cool stuff
All right, you guys. So there it is. Your Luke Skywalker Vintage Collection X-Wing along with your Poe Dameron Resistance X-Wing Vintage Collection vehicle. Very, very awesome vehicles. I love both of these vehicles. I love the upgrades on the Resistance X-Wing. I have a new appreciation for this particular X-Wing. But of course, the classic X-Wing will always be my favorite. And of course, we've compared it to our Dagobah Luke X-Wing right here. Really cool. And then of course, we also have our Wedge Antilles version of the X-Wing as well. Red 2. So really cool. I am very, very happy to have all four of these vehicles in my collection. Super awesome. So there it is, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are. What do you think of the new Luke Skywalker Vintage Collection X-Wing? How does it compare to the classic Dagobah X-Wing? And then of course we have Poe Dameron's Resistance X-Wing. Very cool vehicle. I think it's absolutely awesome. So really cool stuff there, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are. Put those comments down below. Please like and subscribe. And of course, guys, from the Father to the Son to the OB-1 Force goes. May the force be with you always.